my ear compressor it comes with this harness. So let's open that up. Here's the harness. The cord goes into the compressor over here on this side. And then this will go over to your battery. And it's got two 30 amp plugs. Or, uh, Evos. Yeah, right there. Nothing permanent. And then I run the cable over to the other side of the engine bay. Okay. 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 Second harness, that's the one that has the plug. It's gonna go to your compressor. Okay, we'll take this. This is the one you want. And get an extra wire, about 14, 16 gauge, kind of long, about the length of the firewall. Bring them together. I like to use a cap of a Sharpie. Put them all in there. Make sure they're in there. Get some silicone, the BD40. And spray inside that little. You take your Sharpie. Show it in there. Once you have the wires, pass through. Grab your wire and you're going to pass them through this corner slot back here. It's just the right amount of room. I'll show you what I did. Excuse me, very but you can get any long stick and basically shove it through this side all the way through. You can see there, just shove it all the way across. So the tape wasn't adhering. So instead I get a zip tie, gotta hold that. Okay, so you can see the wires are here now. They held on and now for this side, this is where I'm going to run my switch. You can just put your hand back here. And then there's a couple of tabs right here. This tab, just push it down. And that's it. This button pops right up. Now, one of the other issues with the Air B switch is that it's a little too big. Um, they make aftermarket switches as well that you can put in here that are more appropriate size. But personally, I like the, the Air B itself. I just like to use it. Um, the downside is that it doesn't really fit. It's too large, so you actually have to bore this open a little bit. Some people will not want to do that. I personally don't mind. So I, if you need a Dremel, I have a, a bit right here that I use. And then I, use, I hook it up to my um, drill. And that way I can control the power a little better. And then you just start grinding and smoothing this hole out right here. Keep in mind this is reversible, so if you ever want to put the blank one or a factory switch, you can no longer do that because of this, so something to keep in mind. There you go. It is in.
And now what we want to do is hook it up to this harness, which we'll plug in here. With the switch. And with these, they're all pretty much the same color except for purple. And purple just goes with red. So, looking at it this way. So, so this portion of your harness is done, the compressor. So if you don't have uh, this wired up, you're not going to be able to turn the compressor on. So that's where this little blue wire here comes in. This is going to be wired up to the battery on a two amp fuse or something like that. I'm just going to wire this up to this one, and then it'll have its constant power. I don't have to have the battery on to run the compressor. That's just a personal preference. I wouldn't recommend running the compressor anyway that way because it might drain your battery. main portion of your harness and you look for your isolating switch what you're gonna do you see it up right here and you got eight seven and we're gonna be your two black ones so you put those right over here and again this is upright so at the top you have the two black ones then the one right below it on the right hand side is gonna be your red and yellow there you go then beneath that is the solid red. Now you only have one left, and that's going to be your strike blue. Like that. And so that's basically what your configuration is. You can see that. And like I mentioned, I don't use blue one, I don't like having that elimination. Go ahead and tie all this together. Very good time. You can hook up right there. You can feed it into here. And that'll be you have the option of tying it off. If you look in here, you can tie it off something to keep it around. I'm going to test it first, so I'll tie it off after if I confirm everything goes according to how it's supposed to go. And pop your panel back into place. That's it. Okay, for the passenger side, there's something harness right here that you can tie off to. Let me see. And that way, you can put inside of the way. And then you can manage to cover. Just like so.